whenever you create a VM, an IP address gets created and assigned to VM. So let's try to understand what is this IP address. IP address is nothing but a unique identifier which is assigned to each device on a network, allowing it to communicate with other devices on the same network or on other networks. So when you scroll towards the VM details page, you see there are two IP addresses assigned. One is internal IP address and the other is the external IP address. So let's try to understand a little bit more about this internal IP address and the external IP address. In Google Cloud Platform, an internal IP address is assigned to each instance within a project's VPC network. Here, VPC is nothing but virtual private cloud. And internal IP address is used for communication within the network between the instances that are within the same VPC network. IP address is not accessible from outside the VPC network. So it's not visible over the internet. Internal IP addresses are internal to the corporate network. Here the virtual machine is installed inside the GCP network and the internal IP address can only be used inside the Google Cloud network. So using this IP address, you will not be able to send a request to it. So from the internet, if you try to access this virtual machine using the internal IP address, you will not be able to access it. Like if you copy this internal IP and try to access it over internet, you get this message that this site can't be reached because this is hosted in internal GCP network. So this is not accessible over the internet. An external IP address on the other hand is used to connect to resources outside of the VPC network. So this allows the instances within the VPC network to communicate with resources on the internet or other networks. So when you create a VM instance in GCP, it's automatically assigned an ephemeral external IP address. Ephemeral in the sense it is subject to change if the instance gets stopped or restarted. The external IP I'm trying to reach out to a specific virtual machine which is installed inside the Google Cloud platform. This works since external IP addresses are internet addressable. So whenever we talk about the external IP address, you, can, you cannot have two resources with the same IP address. That's because since the external IP address is published over the internet and therefore you cannot have two resources with the same public IP. Each external IP address in GCP is a unique identifier that is assigned to a specific resource cannot use the same external IP. Here we have 35.239.130.242. You cannot use the same external IP for another resource. You cannot have instance 2 or any other VM instance have the same external IP. If two resources try to use the same external IP address, there will be no way to determine which resource should receive incoming network traffic address to that IP address. To avoid this problem, GCP enforces the rule that each external IP address can only be assigned to one resource at a time. So the uniqueness of external IP address is necessary to ensure that network traffic is properly routed to the correct resource and to avoid conflicts that could cause network connectivity issues. So to sum up, the main difference between the internal and external IP address is that internal IP address are used for communication within the VPC network while external IP address are used for communication with resources outside the VPC network. Internal IP addresses are not visible on the internet while external IP addresses are visible and can be used to access resources on the internet. Whenever you stop this VM instance, the external IP address gets changed and a new external IP address gets assigned to this VM instance. So to overcome this issue, there is a concept of static IP address. You can assign a static IP address which does not change whenever a VM gets stopped or restarted. So we will see more about the static IP address in the next video. So that's it for today's video. We will see more in the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with the latest content on this channel.